Welcome Web Warriors! Today we are diving into the mesmerized world of web development with a tutorial on Create Stunning HTML and CSS card animations. Get ready to elevate your code game as we unravel the secrets behind captivating card effects. Whether you are a beginner or a seasoned developer, this is the tutorial you don't want to miss. Hit that play button and let's code together! Alright, you start really from scratch, you have those pictures, and let's also create those files, okay? The index.html and style.css. There is a link down below so you can download the pictures, don't worry about that. So let's create our boilerplate here, it's quite simple, just hit the exclamation and tab, and let's go to the title. Here in the title, let's say sterling, because they are cards, animation, if I can type, yeah, okay? And we need also a link connecting our markup to our CSS. Okay. Alrighty, let's go to the body and create a wrapper. This sets up a container to hold our content. And within our wrapper, this div act as a dedicated space for our content. Okay. Under this one, let's have an input type radio. Name is gonna be a slide, ID is gonna be C1 and checked. Okay. The checked attribute means this red button is initially selected or checked when the page loads. Okay, simple like that. Let's now try to put everything in one line, it's easier for you to see. Okay. All right, and now let's create the label. This label is linked to the red button with the IDC1 create association. The card class likely provides styling for a card like appearance, make it visually appealing. Okay. And inside the label, we have a row div indicate a horizontal layout structure. It's used to organize content side by side, like our card. Okay. Within the row, there is an icon div containing the content when. This represents the first item of our cards, okay? Another div description where we detail information about the item that can be placed in. And the paragraph here with a brief description about the winter. The winter is coming. It's not the winter is coming, but the winter has so much to offer, okay? All right, the first card is done, so let's duplicate that, okay? There is a shortcut for you to see how to do it very quickly. And all we have to do now is a couple of changes here and there, and we're gonna have the four cards ready. We have four cards here, now let's make a couple of changes here. The ID C2, the Forest C2, and instead of winter, now let's say digital technology, okay? Let's also change this one. Instead of saying something about the winter, we're going to say something about the digital technology. Okay, if you can type. Gets better every day. Stay tuned. Okay, so this is the second card is done. Let's move now to the third one. Let's change the ID, of course, and the label and the icon for three. Okay. This is not necessary, I don't know how I put that there. And instead of winter, the winter is coming. Let's have something else. Let me see here. Let's say globalization. People love this word. Okay, let's now talk about globalization. Let's have 45 lines talking about that. I'm joking. Just one. Help people, this is beautiful, over the world. Okay, help someone, that's beautiful. Do it. Let's go to the last one here. And here is going to be the C4, as you can figure out by yourself. C4. And again, no winter. It's enough for winter. I like the summer. So let's delete this one and let's say new technologies it's not just one new ones and the guy is not talking here about react yes 
but the space is generally becomes more and more advanced. And yeah, it's done. Now let's move into CSS. We are now in the realm of CSS where the magic will happen, okay? Let's have a CSS reset, but before we have a CSS reset, I'm gonna show you why we need the CSS reset, okay? Let's create a border because if you cannot see, you cannot style it. It doesn't make sense. As you can see, every browser, Safari, Chrome, they have their own numbers and we don't like it. We want our own numbers, all right? Let's see here, a margin zero. We get rid of the margin, padding is zero. And let's also change the font. Put family here, okay. And we no longer need this one. Let's delete this and give just the color BG background color is going to be this AAA five times A. And we have this nice effect. Now let's grab the wrapper because we want to put our content right in the middle of the page. Let's use those three magic lines display flex, just like content sent along the main axis along the cross axis also center and the height is going to be 100 vh create a full page effect and as you can see it's right in the middle the next one here is going to be our container let's go ahead now and grab the container element okay and let's apply a display flex make element inside the container lines up horizontally and the height is going to be 400 caps the container height at 400 pixels Okay, now let's grab our main element here, the card, okay? With 80 pixels, set the card width to 80 pixels. Let's also have a border rate of terrain around the corners of the card. Background size cover. Ensure the background image to cover the entire card. Okay. The cursor is gonna be pointer. Change the cursor to a point or hover. Indicate interactivity. Overflow hidden clips and content that overflow the card. All right. Uh, body rate is two. I made a mistake there. The margin is, is going to be zero and ten. Adds a margin of the card, providing space. Display flex. Align flex. Flex and position the content at the bottom of the card in a horizontal flex layout. Transition here is smoother the transition with a Kubicki Bezier time function. And finally, let's also here have here the numbers here. It's going to be 0 0.2080 minus. 0 0.03. You, you can work with your own numbers. And let's also apply some box shadow to it, okay? Apply the little box shadow for depth and contrast. Let me save so you can see what I'm talking about here. All right. Let's pick the RGBA. I don't want this. I want that to be black. So 0, 0, 0. And for the transparency, dot 8. As you can see, we have this nice contrast here. Nice. Let's start the element with the class row. Let's direct child of element with the class card. Okay. Let's set the color to white. Now display flex, turn the row element into a flex container. Flex wrap wrap allows the flex items to wrap to the next line if they exceed the containers width. And yeah, it's done. All right, let's start the element with the class icon. Let's direct child of element with the class row, which is itself a direct child of element with the class card. Let's set the background color for a dark shade of 22, 3, okay. Set the text color to white, border radius 50%. Rouse the corners to create a circular shape. All right. 
Now let's set the width and the height of the icon to 50%. Display flex makes the icon a flex container. Just like content center and the line at the center, center the content horizontally and vertically within the circular icon. And for the margin, add a margin of 15 pixels around the icon. And they are on the top because I made a mistake up here. And here is going to be a line height and center along the cross axis. Okay. Well, yeah. Something like that that we will want. Okay. Okay. And now it's time for us to work with the description. Okay. So dot car dot row and description. Display flex makes the description a flex container. Just like content center centers the content horizontally with the container. Flex selection column arrange the content in a column layout. Overflow hidden clips and content that overflow the description container. And for the size here, set the height with of the description container, okay? The opacity is gonna be zero. Set the initial opacity to zero, make it invisible. And now we transform here, translate the description container 30 pixels down, initially out of the view. And transition delay of 0 0.2 seconds delays the start of the transition effect by 0.2 seconds, okay? Type here, 0.2 seconds, yeah. And now, Let's go to transition. All dot three seconds easy. It specifies a transition effect for all property over dot three seconds with the easy function, easy function for a smooth animation. Now for the paragraph here, let's set it first and set the color to a shade. Okay, B zero B zero B A. All right. Padding top is going to be a 5 pixels. Add 5 pixels of padding to the top of the B element, providing some space. Now move into the description, okay, the H4. We want the uh, text to be uh, text transform uppercase, all right? We have the differentiation between the H4 and the paragraph, as you saw in the beginning. For the input, Display none. Hide the element, make the invisible on the page, as you can see here. All right, and now let's target the input elements. They are checked, okay? All of them are checked right now. And also, it's simply, okay? The adjacent simply, the label. Once it's done, Let's give a width of 600 pixels. Set the width of the selected label to 600 pixels. Okay. So now we should go back to the HTML and remove the checked from everything except for the first one. Let me. Okay. Now just the first one checked. And now we're gonna do the same thing again. We're gonna select the input checked and the uh, simply label and also the description and in here let's have the opacity one set the opacity of the description element to one make it visible the important here ensure that the style takes precedence okay now just on translate in y direction zero reset the vertical translation of description element bring it back to its original position and yeah, as you can see, this part is done and looks good. So let's continue. And now we have the full part of this project. I'm going to put the pictures in the cards. OK, so let's have the card for C1. Tag the element with the class of card. Have the attribute 4 set to C1 and set its background to a image, the image 1. Okay, let me just type it here. Okay, we have the first one. And let's do the same for all of them. 
first of all, let's duplicate this a couple of times. And here we're going to have the Kaji Chu. I don't need this symbol. Now we have two pictures. Do the same for the Kaji tree. I always put this symbol, I don't know what's going on. And let's go to the last one the C4. And yeah, as you can see, the project is done. Let me show you. That's all for today. If you like it, smash that like and subscribe button. Bye bye and see you in the next week.